All right, we put in some hard graft and collected three winner's garments so far. So today I thought we'd have a bit of fun. I couldn't do that again if I tried. That's right, you probably clocked the title of the video by now. In this episode, I'm going to spend the entire day eating at as many different restaurant chains as possible. The only rule being, each chain has to be one that I've never tried before. Contrived video idea? Sure. But it should be a giggle, so let's get some brekkie! Waffle House. We start with this place mostly because nowhere else is actually open yet and uh, these places are famously open 24 hours a day just in case you fancy a waffle at 4am or something. <laughs> Every branch I've seen so far looks absolutely booted from the outside. Maybe that's part of the charm though. Let's have a look at this venue. kind of want to try the smothered and covered hash browns like the song you know by Bloodhound Gang. Not their best song I think my favourite is um, the Ballad of Chasey Lane, but Bad Touch is probably the most recognisable. Can I get the um, the hash browns smothered and covered? These are the, uh, the infamous smothered, <laughs> covered hash browns. Thank you very much, sir. Any ketchup? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Thank All right. you. Alright, let's try these out. They're a little greasy, but... Um, I think that's the, the Waffle House style. I like how the, the ones on top are crispy and then underneath you have some slightly more tender hash browns, if hash browns can be tender. It's pretty yummy. Calorie dense though, 445 calories apparently in that one serving. You guys caught the check or the bill or... I don't know what you call it. Yeah, we call it a check. Check. Yeah. <laughs> Does it make sense? It's a bill. I know, right? But hey, everybody this, got a different way of saying it. Is, is 20 enough? Is, is that enough? Yeah. Yeah, there There's you go. More. It's actually more than enough. Yeah, well, you could keep the change. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was Thank delicious. You. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, stop number two. I'm excited about this one because it's the Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. Um, which is, so it's, it's like half shop, half restaurant and they do a ton of southern style menu items deep fried steak, biscuits, sausage gravy, that kind of thing so I can't wait to get inside and try it There's an actual barrel there Contrary to Waffle House, I actually like the theme here, it's a bit wild west this is a shop, where's the restaurant? Oh, in the corner, so he's not bothered. Yeah, put me out of the way. Are so you don't... from Australia? <laughs> no, close. I'm from England. England? Yeah, yeah. Well, hi there. To Georgia. Thank you. Hello. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Do you meet you good? Yeah? Yes. I haven't even tried the food yet, and I think this is already my favorite place. It smells really nice. It smells kind of soapy, like your grand's house. The servers are really polite, and the food looks like it's going to be really good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, would you have, do you have a sweet tea? You do? I would love a sweet tea. If Mrs. Beard was here, she'd tell me to get the old timers breakfast because I'm old now. But I think I'm gonna get the uh, the grandpa's country fry breakfast, which looks like it's high in calories, but should be worth it. Fried apples sounds mad. Yeah, I'll have fried apples, please. <laughs> I suppose it's no weirder than beans. A lot of my American subscribers say it's weird. That we have beans on every every full English breakfast. Let's have some sweet tea. I love this stuff. This is about the same colour as my uh, my urine after the uh, the burrito challenge. <laughs> Speaking of the burrito challenge, I had to take like three days off after that. <laughs> I didn't eat anything the day after. I've just been eating yogurt for the past few days, so I'm absolutely famished now. That said, the idea today is not to eat just as many calories as possible. I'm gonna try and get to as many places as possible but I'm sure we're gonna we're probably gonna end up topping 10,000 calories 10,000 minimum let's say that this looks delicious <laughs> wow that's a big breakfast no I'm good thank you thank you very much thank you this must be the, the deep fried or country fried steak quite excited to try that I wonder why we don't have this in England or Scotland at least 
So it does seem somewhat logical to fry a steak. That's interesting. I'm just gonna eat with my hands. To me it just tastes like a, a deep fried hamburger patty. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing dry, I'm gonna try some of this sausage gravy, I think is what they call it. It's not really what I would call gravy. Oh, that's good. The gravy's kind of peppery, creamy. Good stuff. Can't forget the eggs back here. It's been a while since I had a biscuit. The gravy really goes with the, uh, the biscuits too. I always think the best way to describe grits is kind of like a savory porridge. The final part of, uh, what was it called, Grandpa's sampler or something, is uh, fried apples for some reason. I suppose technically it counts as one of your five a day. Ugh. I'm not sure you can make the argument that this is healthy because it pretty much just tastes like apple pie filling. Delicious. Not entirely sure it's the most sensible breakfast though. <laughs> Right now, by my calculation, that is, so I'll put a calorie count up on screen just so you can keep track, but I think that's so far 1,766 calories, <laughs> which if nothing else shows you just how easy it is to, uh, to overeat. We're not done yet though. Stop three is gonna be some fast food place. I've, I've made a basic plan, but uh, I'm just gonna drive and if I see somewhere that I haven't tried before, we'll stop off there. Right, the total bill is uh, is 14.42, but that breakfast was only 10.49. Don't know if you can see that there. I might send Mrs. Beard a postcard. <laughs> so do you uh, post videos on YouTube? I do, yes. What's the name of your channel? The name of my channel is Beard Meets oh, Food. Yeah. Maybe this you. Is oh yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for hearing of me. <laughs> Thanks very much. Have a nice day. It always comes across as facetious when I say thank you to people. I don't mean to. <laughs> it just comes out that way. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. That was great. On to the next. Next up is a uh, fast food chain called Hardee's. Legend has it they used to be called Stiffies, but for legal reasons had to change their name. No, I'm joking. <laughs> According to their website, sadly, the, the restaurant itself is actually closed, but the drive through is open. Yeah, do you have the, the monster biscuit? Uh-huh, we'll have that. A breakfast really overweight. I'm just going to say what's in the bean. I, I don't think I understood that. Huh? Chicken biscuit, sausage biscuit, steak biscuit, and a Frisco. Um, I'll, can I get the, I'll get the Frisco one, please. I was lost in translation. I forgot what I even ordered. This is what I ordered. I thought I asked for a biscuit, but um, this, uh, well, this is not a biscuit. It looks pretty cool though. It's um, a sandwich, it's not in a burger bun. It's interesting looking at least. It just tastes like a soggy ham and cheese sandwich, ham, cheese and egg. I wanted to get the monster biscuit because I think that was the highest calorie thing on the menu. It's like 900 calories and it looked delicious. Plus I have a taste for biscuits now. It's growing on me a little. The texture is not nice, it's just floppy. But um, the taste isn't too bad. I think the next place we're gonna go is Culver's, which I actually drove past um, a few days ago when I went to the burrito challenge. And I was really impressed by the, uh, the decor on the outside. It looked like a high class fast food joint, if such a place exists. So I'm gonna try that next. Four out of 10 for uh, Hardee's. That was not the finest food I've ever eaten. <sighs> See if their sweet tea's any good. That is good. Hard to mess that up though, I think. 
Yes, that's the place. Please proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. Route? You mean route? Look, I told you, look at that branding. There's something about it just looks a little classier than your average fast food joint. Looks almost debonair, you might say. Something about the blue and white, the simplicity of the logo, I don't know. I'm looking forward to though. Getting low on battery already. <laughs> Wisconsin Swiss Melt? Can I get one of those? I suppose I'll have to get a double. Why don't you in the mood for a bit of seafood? And it all looks pretty good. I decided to get the Wisconsin Swiss Melt though, because Culver's was founded in Wisconsin. So that's probably their marquee sandwich. I would guess. No fries. I'm not going to bother with fries today. I can't believe that's 720 calories. That's mad. I mean, it looks pretty nice. It looks rustic. I think that's wholemeal bread. It's a smidge on the pricey side. 9.39 just for a sandwich, which compared to the Cracker Barrel is uh, it's not exactly value for money. But I'm gonna try it yet. It might taste amazing. It looks. Pretty succulent. You could use some kind of relish on it. The texture is good. It is lacking a bit of taste though. Grilled onions give it a nice edge. I do find it quite interesting that people react with more suspicion to a guy holding a relatively large camera than somebody with a holstered gun on their hip, but I suppose that's the way it is. I don't know if I just chose the wrong item, but Culver's was a bit of a letdown. Looks really good, substance isn't quite there. Not sure what brand it is, but one thing I will say is the root beer is good. They've got an eclectic music playlist here. We've gone from some kind of laid back country to uh, the monkeys to Guns N' Roses. I suppose it's better than Taylor Swift. Hey, first time. What the heck is that? <laughs> I feel like the splash back from this is gonna be intense. I'll, I'll, I'll cut to the car. It's dusty in Culver's. <laughs> Right, next I think we're gonna do Arby's in uh, Peachtree City, which is a nice, I, I don't think it's an actual city, I think it's just a, you know, an, an area. But it sounds nice. Sounds like a level on Sonic the Hedgehog or something. <laughs> 10 miles away, let's get on it. Best thing about Hardy's was the peach tea. Look at this place, BJ's. <laughs> I realize it's not behavior becoming of a person my age, but it might give a few people out there, a cheap laugh. Anyway, on we go. We gotta try Arby's because I keep seeing their advertisements when I'm watching reruns of Gilmore Girls in my hotel room. There's a, a guy with a really deep voice goes, Arby's, we got the meats. Or something to that effect. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Could I get the double stuff? You may. You may. Alright, Adam. 10.36 when you're ready. Feels, feels substantial. Ooh, that looks pretty fancy. I like the, the bread. It's got a cool little design on the top. I like Ruben's sandwiches too. In fact, when I was on the, uh, the Jack's Happy Hour podcast, I said this would be um, part of my meal deal. And I did not score particularly highly. If looks could kill, this one would be a winner. That looks great. That's a good sandwich. You've got plenty of meat in there too. Oh, that's lush. I think Cracker Barrel and uh, this place, Arby's, are uh, top of the list. This is far better than expensive. 
For a fast food joint, this beef is really good. It's almost like, it feels like it's deli quality. It is pretty much a classic Reuben beef, sauerkraut, Russian dressing, cheese, and uh, it tastes fantastic. I think I'm gonna give this, this could be shit in a nine out of 10. I think everyone else got table service. I had to get up and get my sandwich. Hollywood has a lot to answer for. 80% of the evil people in films are usually British, so could be that. Oh man, this is huge. This actually looks like the picture. Normally when you get fast food, it looks nothing like the picture, but look at this. It actually, if anything, it looks bigger than the picture. Oh, no. Here we go, Bojangles in Fayetteville and uh, this is another one that, um, that, it, that it isn't open for you know dine-in purposes but the uh, the drive-thru is open so we're gonna go through there might try and put on like a southern accent just to avoid a repeat of the debacle that happened earlier hi can I get a Cajun chicken biscuit please all right with that completion that's everything 427 thanks <laughs> That was so much easier. That worked. <laughs> the root beer at Arby's is pretty good too. Arby's is top notch so far. It's out in first place, I think. Bojangles looks like it's gonna be fun though. The sign, the font of the sign kind of implies a little bit of light-hearted fun. Like Comic Sans or something like that. Good Lord, who's in front of me? Joey Chestnut. What's this guy ordering? That guy just got a box of food bigger than my camera bag. Thank you. I like the brand in. It's pretty strong. Proper bow, you might say. Nobody would say that. This thing looks like it'd give you deep vein thrombosis. It's a little bit dry. The combination of fried chicken and um, a biscuit with pretty much nothing else isn't a winner. It's not far away, though. I feel like Maybe a little bit of spicy mayo or something in there. And it'd be decent. The biscuit's good. The chicken is good. Together they're a little, you know. By the way, if anyone's watching from this area, give me a mark out of 10. <clears throat> On my accent, let me know if you'd have fallen for it if you were working the drive through today. Mm. It was not without its charm, but it could use something on there just to moisten it up a little bit. That's the biggest log I've ever seen. Outside my toilet, that is. <laughs> Crystal! Crystal Burger, they used to have a Crystal Burger contest. I think that's it, Crystal? Crystal Burger? Crystal? I don't know. That's where we're going next. It's just down the street as well, so I'll just do a little cut. We'll, we'll forget the whole B-roll part. You know, I said that Crystal was just a few hundred yards down the street. Well, it turns out I went to the only one in the Atlanta area that's closed on a Monday. So I had to drive 20 miles east to the next closest one. So I hope it tastes good. So, this is Cristal, which I think is just famous for selling little teeny tiny burgers. Mrs. Beard sized burgers. Where are you from? I'm from England. England? Yeah. Oh. And they're small burgers, they're square. I feel like it would make more sense to just make the burgers bigger rather than sell, you know, three of them. <laughs> is that just me? <laughs> Why make such small burgers? <laughs> yeah. It's weird. It's like a drive through for people. This takes a long time. It's been around since the 40s. This is the slowest fast food I've ever witnessed in my life. 24 minutes? What did you order, like 24 burgers or something? <laughs> the wait here is crazy. I, I'm not the kind of person that would normally complain about wait time, especially since I'm usually ordering lots of food. But I've been in this queue for 25 minutes now. <laughs> I don't know how long the guy ahead of me had been here. I hope they're good burgers. Thank you. 
Look at that. I don't like to needlessly complain, but... <laughs> it looks miserable. You wouldn't even serve that at, like, a kid's party or something. I can't tell if they actually taste all right, or if it's just because they're reminiscent of, you know, those frozen bird's eye beef bugs you used to get when you were a kid. Not that they were good, but I think the nostalgia replaces flavor in some cases. I can't understand how I waited 25 minutes for this burger, probably more like 28 minutes, and they're still not very hot. If you watched the Florida series, you might remember a, a friend of mine called Bob, uh, Bob Shout, and he actually, there was once a, a Major League Eating Crystal contest, and um, he ate 90 of these, 9 zero in, um, in I think 10 minutes, which is a bit mad. I don't think I could do 90, but I think I could do a lot of them, they're pretty small. The final ingredient, a corn dog. Been a while since I ate one of these. This is gonna give me food poisoning. That is absolutely freezing cold. Like it's not even temp it's not even ambient temperature. It's it's colder than, than the current ambient temperature. <laughs> I mean the battery is sweet. That's the best I can say about it. The meat is cold though. On to the next. It's getting late now. Church's chicken. Let's hope the food tastes so good. It's almost a religious experience. <laughs> you have to do the voice again. I'd rather not. Uh, can I get a chicken sandwich? Slow it out. Oh, it's sold out. Uh, three, uh, three piece tenders. This day started so well. I panic ordered three chicken tenders. I'm told that Church's chicken is uh, is pretty good, so hopefully it was uh, worth the fuss. Ooh, there's a biscuit in there. There's a dipping sauce. Contorting my body into an unnatural shape here. Is that in focus? I can't tell. You get the idea. Chicken tenders, biscuit, some chips. I mean, they seem a smidge better than KFC, a little bit more moist, maybe. The sauce is tasty. Let's try the biscuit. Nah, that's the work, that, that feels stale. Biscuit lets it down. I didn't really want chips, but the, the bloke kind of foisted them on me. I didn't have the energy to put up a fight. <laughs> They're actually alright though. Right, I'm starting to feel a bit gammy, so I'm gonna go back to the hotel, regroup, wash my hands and face and beard a little bit, and then um, we'll hit a few more places. Before that though, I'm gonna grab something from this Dairy Queen across the street. Not sure what yet, but yeah, I'll just pick something. I'm craving something sweet now. Go on. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, a sea salt toffee fudge with uh, a lizard. Okay. Uh, large, please. The largest you do. And can I also get a, uh, a Royal New York cheesecake? Not gonna lie, this is pretty ghetto. I expected a bit more of Dairy Queen. Should have got one of these cakes, look at those things. Never had a blizzard before, so I got two large ones. That should pump up the calories a bit. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna try and blast back to the hotel before these things melt. All right, 
last few hours have been a bit hectic, but we're back at the old hotel stead now, where I'm gonna kick back and enjoy these Dairy Queen blizzards. I haven't really had much in the way of sweet stuff today, which is unlike me. I do have a, a bit of a sweet tooth, to say the least. I think the only sweet stuff I've had today really would be the apple, the fried apple thing this morning. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck into these two, which they're, they're way over 1,000 calories each, so that should help get the total somewhere over 8,000-ish. So the first one I got was the fa bleh, faulted sudge. That's not a real thing. First one I got was a large salted fudge blizzard, which comes in at 1,290 calories. For this, that is a bit mad. That's more than a Five Guys shake. It's a welcome break from all the salty stuff. Lots of chunk in there too. There's something blue in there. Do you reckon that is a smarty or something? Who knows? It feels a little weird because it's been a it's been a hot minute since I did one of these full day of eating videos. And I know some of the the older subscribers really miss them, so I'll try to do one for all time's sake now and then. One of the many reasons I don't do them that often though is because, as you saw earlier today, Things often don't go to plan. Like I thought most of the restaurants would be open for dine-in and a lot of them weren't, so eating in your car is no fun. Still, we'll live with it. This this tastes every bit of 1,290 calories or whatever I said it was. It's pretty much a milkshake now. Oh, that makes a welcome change from fried chicken. Biscuits and gravy and all that stuff. The next one I got is called a uh, Royal Blizzard. I'm not entirely sure what makes it royal, but this is the New York Cheesecake one, which is even more calorie dense. I think this one is over 1,300. 1,340. <laughs> so I'm expecting this to taste good. It's probably a little bit difficult to tell, but it's got little kind of mushed up chunks of biscuit in the ice cream which kind of gives it that consistency of, of cheesecake it's nice uh, I think what makes it royal is it's got a little bit of fill in there a little bit of jam or some compote in the middle it just tastes like a frozen cheesecake now little chunks of something in there Red Lobster, that's definitely on my uh, on my list. Never been there before, love lobster. I think it's pretty expensive, but I know it's, you know, open. Oh man, this one is, I would venture to say this is worth every one of the 1,340 calories or whatever it was. Now I'm on to the desserts. <clears throat> I'm not gonna wanna go back to the savory stuff. I should've got two of these. I'll tell you what will complete this blizzard. Bacon. Have you ever done a bacon blizzard? Somebody let me know in the comments. Seems like the kind of thing they would do in America. They were scrumptious, especially the second one. Just eating more than most people's entire daily calorie intake in two Sundays. Ice cream Sundays. Today's Monday. How many places have I visited now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to make it at least 10 places. And we are on 8,849 calories. We can't quit before 10. At least 10. All right, we don't have much daylight left. Let's go get that lobster dinner. something either really pompous or deeply depressing about going out for a lobster dinner by yourself. Can't quite put my finger on which one. 
I don't really know. I get the feeling it's like a fishy TGI Fridays. That's what I'm thinking. This menu's seen better days. Ooh, I think that could be the one. It's expensive, 42.99. But I think that's the one for me. It's lobster lover's dream. Why would you want to play a tractor video game? Tractor simulator in the middle of a meal. <laughs> could I get the um, the lobster lover's dream, please? Do you have sweet tea? Yes. I would love some sweet tea. Thank you. Not gonna lie, I was pretty tempted to say, make it snappy. Lobster, snappy. Well, I thought the, the joke might not quite cross the cultural divide. <laughs> Didn't want him to think I was rude. It's got this almost medicinal sweetness to it. It's nice, good stuff. Which is weird because I hate normal tea. This cold sweet tea is delicious. Thank you very much. Got the lobster tail there, mashed potatoes. I didn't even read the whole menu, so I don't know what this is. Some kind of lobster pasta thingy. There is something a little bit uncouth about eating lobster with your hands, but it's my lobster. I'll do what I like with it. I like lobster. I'm not going to pretend I'm some kind of lobster specialist. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do or if I should have done something else. Either way, I'm going to enjoy it. I get the feeling the majority of the calories come from the, uh, the pasta, whatever's in this kind of cheesy, creamy pasta. It's good lobster. It's not the finest lobster. Thank you very much. I think my analogy about this being the TGI Fridays of seafood is, is pretty much on the money. Oh man, this, this looks rich. Mrs. Bid, if you're watching, you should be glad you're not here. Our bedroom is gonna stink tonight. I kind of wish I just ordered a big bowl of the lobster pasta. This is yum. The mashed potato feels a bit out of place. These mashed potatoes are like the polar opposite of the ones my mum makes. Because my mum's interpretation of mashed potatoes is a little bit too literal in that she just mashes potatoes. She doesn't add anything to them. <laughs> These have obviously got cream in there or butter or something. Tastes good. You know, there's, a, there's actually a, a Vietnamese pho challenge about 30 miles that way, I think. But I've been putting it off just because I still don't really know how to eat noodles or anything like noodles effectively. It was good. It is. 8.17 Which is pretty late I know I don't like to eat this late That's what it's for You put your pay on this thing Oh, I'm getting old I can't handle it I can't handle eating all day long man. It's, it's hard work 10 chains I've never visited before Many that I'm sure I'll visit again Especially Cracker Barrel and uh, Arby's That was great But uh yeah, I'm done with eating for today. Two days off now, and then uh, back to proper food challenges. That's, that's, that's what I do these days. <laughs> that's everything. 427, thanks.